all right there i'm in the shed haven't done a video for a while been rather busy with work and life in general as you know when you've got allotment uh, you know takes a lot to do anyway i'm going to do a update video on my uh, cylindra someone put it out uh, okay so i uh, planted these uh, cylindra beetroot because I say cylinder and someone says you don't say that cylindra uh, beetroot four weeks ago uh, as you can see they're looking lovely you know, probably some are better than others uh, get in there because I've got other things in here now so they're popping their heads up uh, some are still in ground a little bit probably depending on how uh, deep I dug the hole so you can see, yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, this probably is one of my favourite ones. I have grew this before. Uh, I just pick them, boil them, and basically just them like that. Didn't uh, pickle them or nothing like that. Uh, with a bit of balsamic vinegar and salt. Proper Moorish, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I haven't got around the lake pickling for Christmas or whatever but yeah uh, they're looking a bit damaged with holes the leaves are brown which is probably just uh, sun scorched there's no like disease on them or nothing like that uh, obviously the the main beetroot would be probably affected but the firm and I'm hoping they're going to be longer than the last ones I did because uh, you tend to let that train go by tended to find when I did them the last time because I hadn't dug the hole that deep uh, they pushed the cell out of the ground obviously they have pushed the cell out of the ground a bit here but I'm hoping because I did a bit deeper and put the uh, chicken coop poop in there uh, they're going to be slightly better I don't know but I think I'll have to sow some more I did sow some more but uh, they died uh, I, I think I sowed tight in this time but yeah they're looking good uh, I'm looking forward to picking this crop uh, I'm quite uh, pleased that it's just took four weeks to them, put them mature. Obviously not from when they were sown, but from putting them in the ground, four weeks to basically having a picking, fantastic. Whether it's been this glorious uh, weather that we've got at the minute, I don't know. Uh, but they've been getting plenty of water every two days. So yeah, lovely. So I hope whatever beetroot you've grown, or whether you've grown this one, uh, maybe you might have a tip for us. And maybe I'm doing it right, maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. But you know, it's all trial and error when you, when you do anything in the garden. And obviously with us doing no dig, uh, it is it is easier. It keeps the weeds down, it keeps the moisture. Because technically what you're doing, you're mulching uh, around the plants. So you're keeping the moisture in. So you're helping the plants. So yeah, anyway, it's bye from me. I'm in the shed. See you later, bye.